Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's write some more lead code today. Today we are solving longest palindrome by concatenating two letter words. So we are given an array of string words and each element of words will consist of two lowercase English letters. And we want to create the longest possible palindrome by selecting the elements from words and we can concatenate them in any order. And after creating the longest possible palindrome, we want to return the length of that palindrome. So if we look at this example, we can form LCGGCL and it will be length 6. This example, we can form TY plus LC plus CL plus YT and it will be length 8. So we return 8. And for this example, we can form CC or LL or XX and they're all length of 2. So the max is 2. So we return 2. So now that we have seen some examples, let's get to how we can solve this problem. So we know that all the strings in the input array will have a length of 2. So they can either have the same character or different characters. And we know that if they are the same, they can always form a palindrome on its own. However, if they want to form an entire string from the array, only one of them can contain an odd number of instances. So what I mean by that is, let's say if this is the input, then we can have all of them be included in the longest palindrome. However, let's say this is the input where two of them have an odd number of instances, then we can either only make CCAACC or CCBBCC. So basically what I mean is that if there are more than one string with an odd number of instances, we can only include one of them. So the even number of instances can go on the sides and the odd number will always go in the middle. And if there's no odd number of instances, so let's say we don't have BB here, then we can just delete BB and it will still be a palindrome. Now, let's say the input string in the array has different characters, then we know that they can form a palindrome as long as it has a reverse string to match with. So what we can do is we can form a hash map for the strings with different characters and the strings with the same. So for the same, as we iterate through the array words, if they have the same characters, we will add the instance to same and then immediately just add to the result. And after having gone through the array, we will look through same. And the first time, if they have an odd number, then we will increment the odds variable by one. But after that, if we see any more odds, we will need to subtract by two because we can only have one instances of a string with odd number of instances. Now for different, what we will do is if it doesn't have any instance in the hash map, then we will add it there to the hash map. And once we find a string who can match it, then we will decrement that instance in hash map by one and increase the result by four. And we will continue that until the end of the array. So let's go over this example real quick. So we see LC include by one. We see CL in match LC. So decrease by one, increase result by four. We see GG increase the result by two. CAB edit hash map. CAA increase by two. So result is eight. CBB increase by two. And CBB again. So we increase by two again. Now we know that either only A or GG can be in the longest palindrome. So we will have to remove one of them. And what we'll do is we'll look through the hash map. So we see GG. So now the number of odds is one. And now it has more than one odds. So we increase odds. And now we need to decrease by two. So now result is 10. BB is even. So that's fine. So now that we have looked through the hash map, we can return the result, which is 10. So the time complexity will be O of N, where N is the number of elements in the array, because that's the number of elements we will iterate through. And the space complexity will also be O of N, because these two hash maps will depend on the number of elements in words. So now let's get to the coding part. So first we will initialize result to zero. We will set a difference hash map to default dictionary of int and we do the same with the same hash map. So now we will look through words. If they have the same characters, then we will increment result by two. And also update the instance of it by one. However, if they are different, then we want to see if there's an instance of the reverse of that word in the hash map. If there is, then we will increment result by four and decrement the instance of it by one. Otherwise, we will just increase the instance of that word in the difference hash map by one. And now we need to see the same hash map and check the number of odds in it. If there's more than one, then we need to decrement the result by two after we have seen an odd instance once. So the first time we add odds by one, once the odds variable is greater than one, we need to decrement result by two each time. 
now we can return result. Let's see if it works. Okay, perfect. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And I hope to see you all again soon.